Look up, look down, look all around. Up in the sky or on the ground. things to do today. Can we get them ticked all off the list? Let's get started. Yes, one ticked off the list. Now I am just um, doing an upload on DTube. If you don't know what DTube is, it's basically like decentralised YouTube, so everyone gets paid. You don't need to sign up for like a partner you know, YouTube partner program, just anyone, everyone gets paid, sorry, it's gone out of focus, um, everyone gets paid, and, um, basically, it's, yeah, decentralised, so, you can put anything on there, and then you can select your preferences, your site preferences up here, and, you know, like, not safe for work videos, you can put fully hidden and stuff, um, but it's pretty cool, um, I've been on there a few days now, I'm basically just uploading all my YouTube content to there, so, there's no point in you guys going over to see it. I just wanted to let you know, kind of, that I'm on DTube, and if you want to be on DTube, then yeah, you can be. You know, it's a cool platform. Although it is a bit harder to upload a video to DTube than, than YouTube, because there's, like, a few different hump hoops you need to um, jump through. But yeah, that's going to be ticked off the list, which is like that one there, upload to DTube, so that's cool. Done. Awesome. Uh, that's for return sorted and refunded the buyer, so that's another good job done. Oh, and just in case you're wondering what the actual item was, there it is there. Buy Lego, check. Just wrote down all the lots I am looking to bid at in the auction, so quite happy with that. And I can tick that off the list. Let's go out. Right then guys, so we are 11 days into February. I've just come down to visit my cabinet. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised actually. I'd have, I had some gaps in my cabinet. Things were rocking and rolling pretty happy um also i found out some new information that basically there's this little box now where the basically when you sell something just to elaborate a little bit when you sell something you get one of these envelopes or one of these envelopes here um and uh, they basically put them in a little plastic wallet and then it has your cabinet number on the plastic wallet but also i found out today there is a little box that like envelopes from different cabinets also go in now i don't know whether higher value items, you know, higher value sales go in the little box and then lower value, like sub £20 or something, go in the um, plastic wallet. I don't know. But anyway, what I've got to remember to say next time is, can you check my wallet, my plastic wallet, and can you check the box for me? Because I might be missing out on, you know, getting money, getting, you know, actually realising that I've got sales that are in the little box and they just stay there forever and ever and ever. So, um, I didn't have any sales in the box, they were all in the wallet. Um, but what happened was, she only took one envelope out of the wallet and uh, she didn't realise there was more envelopes in the wallet because there's a front section and a back section. And uh, I go to my cabinet, see that it's quite thin on the ground, I go back in and I say, could you just check the wallet again? There's, um, you know, I, I think I've got more than one sale. So she said, well, actually, I'll check the box. So that's why I know that, you know, this box thing exists. So she checked the box. Then I said to her, because uh, there was nothing in the box, I said, could you check the wallet again? And then she found the back section in the wallet and blah, 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 blah. But, um, yeah. So first item I sold, which I got in, like, a uh, auction job lot for, like, 15, 20 quid. I got in a big box of, uh, of stuff, you know, random miscellaneous stuff was this Autumn Breezes figure by Royal Dalton for 15 quid. Could I have got a little bit more on eBay? Could I have even got a little bit more in my cabinet? I don't think I could have got more in my cabinet because it was sat there for 20 quid for a few months and then I reduced it down to 15 and it's finally gone. Um, 
So, yeah, maybe not, could might not have been able to get more on my cabinet. Could I have got a bit more on eBay? Maybe I could have pushed 25, something like that. I don't know. I didn't check on eBay. But, yeah, quite happy with that. It's a lot less work than eBay. You've not got packaging. You've not got, you know, uh, fees, like PayPal fees, eBay fees. So, quite happy with that anyway. Um, I got sold some horse brasses. I've been selling these every month for six quid. Again, this was the 5th of the 2nd. These are all February sales as well. Um, so, yeah, that was those. Again, just in a job lot, a brass job lot. Cost me pennies, literally, in job lots. Um, and then I sold, which was nice to finally sell this, because I thought this would go a lot sooner, was a Borsan, or Bor Borsari, I think it was, uh, fragrance set. And I got 20 quid for that. Now, I did admittedly pay £10 in a charity shop, but it's not so bad because I've not got postage, I've not got PayPal fees, I've not got eBay fees. So it's not as bad sort of doubling up uh, like that in a cabinet. I wouldn't necessarily pay £10 for something to make £20 on eBay because of your postage and the rest of it. But it's not so bad doubling up like that in a cabinet. So um, I did 20, I did 15, that's what's that, 35 and I did uh, 41. Now, my cabinet rent is 31. Uh, the Borsan, the Borsari fragrance set is a tenner, so that would take me up to 41, which is my sales value. The horse brasses are very minimal. The um, figure, a couple of quid, something like that, in a job lot, really, you know, if I averaged it out. So, I would say I'm down, I'm at about a £2 to three, but I'd say £3 loss this month, but bear in mind, we're on the 11th, so all I need is a few items to sell, and then obviously I work out the cost of goods and stuff like that as well, and factor that in, and then I'll have actually made some money this month, so I've got, I'm quite optimistic this month that it's going to go better, now also, she gave me this, oh god, my leg's gone dead, oh god, I've been sat here for a while, um, she gave me this, now this says, brooch, and it says six quid, but I don't think I've ever had a brooch in the cabinet, so I don't know, I might, I think, you know, the trust, not the trustworthy side, the, the, um, honourable side of me, I don't know whether that's right, or the just side of me, needs to go back in and say, look, I've not sold a brooch, it says on here, Sunday 27th of the 11th, 2016. Now, I've never had a brooch, and I've not been in that cabinet since 2016. So, I don't know what the procedure is for someone who's left a cabinet and not got uh, got the envelope. I mean, I, I shouldn't be keeping this. This is not right for me to keep this. So, she gave me this one. I've only just realised. So, I'm going to have to go back in and say, look, I don't know about this. I've not sold a brooch. What is the procedure for, for that event? Do I just give it back to you or what? Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll just say keep it because, like... How I don't know whether they're going to be contacting the other person or whatever. Or I, I, I suppose that if I say that, they might just say, oh, well, we'll have it back or something then. Or, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But that was there. So potentially I might have an extra six quid. But I don't really want to take it because it's like, it's not really right to take it. I've not really earned it in terms of, you know, it's not my sale or anything, or at least I don't think it's my sale, I don't think I've had a brooch or anything in there, so, yeah, there was that one as well, so, maybe I've got 47 quid, but I, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to take something and be a bit, it just seems a bit schemey, doesn't it, a bit skeevy or whatever, or whatever the word is, I don't know, but anyway, I'll do a bit of recording in my cabinet, and then uh, I'm off to my lock-up next as well, so I'll show you a little bit of that. So it occurred to me, while I'm down at the lockup, you've not actually seen the, the new shelving. So my granddad, uh, for gratis, if you speak Spanish, I think that's Spanish, uh, well, for free, uh, got me these racking uh, systems. Now, he's gone to New Zealand for his like yearly trip there. He goes there for like four or five weeks in Feb. Um, so after he's come back from New Zealand, I think he said he's going to get me some more and we can kit it out a bit more, which is amazing of him because like these racking systems are so expensive and these ones are incredibly strong and incredibly heavy he is 75 years old and he just whipped these off the trailer 
and just literally like whacked him in here like he was my age. It was it was incredible. Um, well, that's a, there's a weird noise out there. There's some weird noise out there. Um, so yeah, these are incredibly heavy, incredibly strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get some of this stuff sorted out onto the racking. And, I, and you can see I've got those two black shelving units there. Well, actually it's one, but broken up into two. I'm going to put that up as, as like a single a single shelf. And then probably if, it, if there's enough space, put it there. And then I've got shelving up properly. And then I'll say when he comes back, he can uh, hopefully there'll be some more racking here as well and then it'll kit it out more but I wanted to show you because a lot of people have been saying I need to get this sorted and I was aware of it but it was just the cost and all that sort of stuff but you know I was speaking to my granddad at, at my birthday meal and he says well I've got a load of shelving left over from uh, some sort of I think it was some sort of uh, uh, what was it like work area he was he was involved with or something I don't know what it was it was like a a uh, woodwork woodwork area type thing workshop he was involved with and uh, there was some whacking going so um, yeah quite happy about that so I'll come back to you when I've had a bit of a sort out in my lock up as you can see there's plenty of stuff still to be going up from the auction uh, job lot crazy still I mean we've got all that military clothing down there to sort um, and I've got another auction this week as well so all locking and rolling really Right then here we go guys, about 10-20 minutes later, it didn't actually take me that long to be fair. Um, looking better now, you know, I mean, unfortunately I put that up, but because I have, because the original position of it was two, like, sort of smaller ones, I didn't have enough poles to make, you know, make it fully up, um, but I have got some more poles at home, so I need to go back home. Well, I'm not doing this today, to be honest, but because I've got packing to do, I've got so much more to do on that to-do list. So uh, I'll do this another day, but I'll make sure when I get home, I'll put the poles in the car so that I know, you know, so that I've got them for next time anyway. Um, and I don't have to remember to bring them because I'll forget otherwise. Um, so yeah, and then that'll be up there, hopefully. So that'll be like four or, you know, like three or four shelves up. And I've got another one of them at home. But my mum and dad have uh, robbed it to put all their Wellingtons and God knows what on and boots and all that crap on. So um, I need to get that back off them. They did say I can have it back because it is actually mine. I did pay for it. Um, and then I've got another one of them anyway. These are just here temporary. These are like mega... Well, that one isn't so bad, but these two are mega heavy. So I couldn't even really do much with them. Even to lift that one on top of that one, I had to take out like half of the contents because it's like all books and stuff and it's so heavy. So they're just there temporarily um, until I sort of sort them. That's some of the Lego and bits and bobs. There's actually some like ELC stuff in there as well from that haul. Uh, but I'm quite happy with how it's looking so far. As you can see, I've filled up the shelves here. I've just, I just sort of put it in any old order, you know, where, where it'll fit. Um, oh, I wanted to show you as well. I pulled this uh, Walt Disney Parade. I'll just uh, focus it in there. Walt Disney Parade out of that Disney bo bo box um, there. Because that, most of that's Disney stuff in there. Uh, not all of it, but most of it. Um, now, I saw one of these in the charity shop the other day. For like 10 quid or 20 quid. And I checked on eBay the other, you know, the other day while I was in a charity shop. And I think it goes for about 20 quid. So I knew that there was some value in that. So I pulled that out. Got all of the books in there, so I'm going to take that back with me. And I'm going to take, I'm going to choose one more box to take back with me. But to be honest, I've got plenty of stuff at home already, and I've got an auction this week, so I've got plenty of stuff. I've wrote down loads of lots that you saw before, so um, yeah, should be good. I should get a, a bit more of this filled up, um, and we'll see. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on the stories, lock up, and the cabinet as we go. Um, but I, I say I won't be coming back in here till maybe Tuesday, Wednesday now. So I might update you on sort of Tuesday, Wednesday uh, when I come back in here. But yeah, looking okay for now. I'll leave it there, guys, um, for this segment. So yeah, and there's a little bush there. Well, I can't ever gonna use it. My mum brought that down. It's like, well, I can't ever gonna use that. I won't use that. But anyway, I just I just leave it there. It's a nice. It's for decorative purposes. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, I'll see you in the next segment, guys. See you in a minute. The gate that takes forever to open. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
What a great gate. And we're getting there. And there we go. Boom, both checked off the list. Well, I can tick packaging off my list. Well, there we go, ticked off the list. Also, I uh, had a little tidy up as well that I said I was going to do. Um, so, next, basically, all I've got to do is sort photograph uh, slash list 10 items, YouTube video, record it, which I'm actually doing now, and edit slash upload the video. So, since I've got to convert this video, edit it, all that sort of stuff, I'm going to leave the video here, and then I can start editing and uploading this video, and that means that I've got this ticked off the list, and then the only thing I've got to do is sort and photograph some items. I've already got a few in the car that don't really need much sorting, so it's basically just a quick photo, and then uh, list them tonight. So that should be pretty cool. So... Hopefully I'll get everything ticked off the list today, which is really cool. I've done quite a lot. I've managed to get a lot of good jobs done. Um, and obviously a few of these jobs will roll over onto next week anyway. Because I've still got to kind of sort the lock up a little bit over, over a period of a few weeks. I've got to continually look at my cabinet and see where I am with that. Um, I've also got, got to do more YouTube videos, videos and stuff like that. So it all rolls over. Um, my to-do list every single day normally looks pretty much the same. Um, because they're just the same things like packaging. I've got to do over and over. You know, every day it's more of a sort of a recycle uh, type task. So, yeah. I'll leave it there, guys. We pretty much did the uh, to-do list. Or hopefully by the end of the night I'll have done it. So I'm really happy with that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you very, very soon for my next video.